Hello everyone. Um, yes, uh, we going to learn again for the TNS3 lab, and today we we will configure the router or Cisco switch, and we will put the uh, protection. Okay, and this protection um, I'm going to show uh, the configuration. It's uh, Enable SSH. Uh, SSH uh, is the protocol that you can remote to your uh, Cisco switch or Cisco router. Okay, from uh, your own PC. Example, um, actually at the server room, you might really go inside to the server room and. Uh, if you don't want to go to the server room and you want to connect to your uh, router or your switch, then you can use your PC to remote to a Cisco switch or Cisco router. Okay, and this implementation, I uh, will show you how to do that. Okay. How to enable the SSH so that you can uh, remote to your router or to your switch. Uh, from your PC, okay. You need to uh, just sit down at your desk and then use your laptop or your PC to remote to the Cisco router or Cisco switch, okay. So let's start on GNS3. Yeah, let's start on GNS3. Uh, I will put a new project name Enable SSH. I will take one router, Cisco router, and I will take one cloud. Okay, this cloud I'm going to configure for connecting from my own PC to the router one. Okay, I'm using um, Lubeck one adapter. And my Lubeck adapter IP address is 192.168.10.3. So I will plan for this um, IP address will be 192.168.10.1/24. Uh, I will assign this IP address to the router. Okay. I will use interface G0 slash 0 and connecting to loopback 1. Uh, on my cloud, Ether 2 is my loopback 1. If you don't know how to connect your loopback 1 to the cloud, please uh, watch my previous video how to add uh, interfaces, uh, loopbacks, and uh, uh, Wi Fi to your GNS3. So, yeah. I have shown you already in my previous video. Um, I will show the label. Okay. And this G0 slash 0, I will assign this address. Then we'll link to um, the cloud with the loopback adapter. Let me ping to 192.168.10.1. Let me put in a ping. Currently, it's not connected to uh, dot one. Okay, it's not connected to dot one. I will start the router, and we will start configuration. Okay. Let me right click console. Okay. Let us the uh, booting the router. Okay, it's uh, already finished booting. We go to enable config T. First of all, I will assign IP address, okay? INTG0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.10.1 
slash 24 okay no shutdown let's tracking the ping okay currently is a uh, timeout now is uh, reply from dot one it means that the uh, interface of g0 slash 0 on router one is already enabled so i can ping from my pc okay i can ping from my pc later on i will I will use this uh, putty to uh, remote to 192.168.10.1 okay later I will remote from SSH so now let's go back to router 1 configuration and go back to the diagram okay in, on the diagram we will um, configure SSH okay is it from the interface to enable SSH, we need to give some commands. Okay, let's go to change the host name first. Host name, uh, I will call it core router. Okay, and I will assign IP domain name bunta.com any ip do, any domain you like uh, or you have a, uh, your own domain you can assign your own domain to the router okay and then you need to uh, generate the security uh, address okay security key you need to uh, generate security key okay by typing crypto key generate or sa sorry uh, general key crypto key generate my typing was wrong and for the uh, module bits it start it is it say here uh, it start from 360 Two four zero nine six. It means that uh, if you type the five twelve, let's say five twelve here, it means you are using the version one point one five five of the SSH. But if you use was uh, uh, the bits of twelve uh, uh, ten twenty four. It means you are using version 1.99 but we will uh, switch it to version 2 SSH version 2 okay but I recommend to use uh, 1024 bits okay enter it will be generate the OSA key okay the security key so now we have done and then we we uh, upgrade it to IP SSH to version 2 why because uh, when you have only version 1.99 it means some uh, some of the timenet or oh, sorry some of the uh, SSH client could not connect to your router because of the different version okay and then we go to line V T Y zero four and transport input SSH. Okay, we need to turn it uh, to SSH and then go to log in local. And then it's it. Now let's choose username and password for connecting to your router using SSH I will uh, assign username as admin and password sorry and password will be Cisco okay and one more thing I will also put a password for enable okay but, uh, actually all the Cisco product when you start configuration you need to enable okay so I will put the enable password 
sorry for the enable password i also use the cisco password my cisco is as i'm, I'm using cisco as a password okay we have done all the uh, setting up SSH and uh, uh, enable password, okay? But when you go to um, so run, when you go to so run, let's go to down. Uh, you will see the, the 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 password was not encrypted sometime, okay? But I recommend it to use service password encryption. Why? Because when you do, when you do so run, it will be not showing the password. If if you have uh, enable password on your Cisco products, sometimes you will see all the password here. Okay, but when you use this command it will be encrypted the password if someone standing behind you and you show run it will show the password to the person who's standing behind you okay so the security uh, reason that's why we use the uh, service password encryption so now let's uh, test by login from as a SSH using port I will try to connect SSH port 22 yes we could connect now my username is admin my password is Cisco and the ball password also Cisco so now I can use or uh, I can use my router using my PC let's say this this router is uh, located in your server room i don't need to go to server room i just remote from my pc using potties okay using potty okay um i think that's all for my implementation and um, if you have any questions and uh, if you have any comments just uh, let me know and you can uh, comment it uh, below the video okay thank you for watching